Simon was to make a portrait, a portrait documentary. I know who my subject is. I'll let her introduce herself. My name is Emma Jerk Whitmer. Is that is that actually your middle name? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. My middle name is Catherine. Catherine, and you you traded that for Jerk? Yeah, I think Jerk would be the coolest middle name. But what exactly is a portrait documentary? I want to be as truthful as possible to the audience, to you all. I want to capture the entirety of who she is. But I don't know her that well, so it might be hard. Emma makes music. The name of her band is Goblin Jr. It's a weird name, right? Dick. <laughs> Please explain. I think the world would like uh, to know. Yes. My class. The world has to know the name Gobin Jr. came from my bong. Oh. No yeah. Really. It I did. Know. Isn't what that is, surprising, is, Yugi? Yeah, I'm shocked. There's Emma, who plays the bass. Haley, who plays the guitar. Santiago, who plays the drums. And me. This is where we practice. This is the keyboard I play. This is the notebook I use to remember all my parts. It's the same notebook I used in high school when I decided I wanted to get better at drawing. But speaking of high school. So this is, this is gonna sound weird, but um, I'll, I'll, so, so like, what was your high school social life like? <laughs> Yes, my favorite question. Well, I'm just curious because I like I didn't have friends in high school, but like yeah. I was kind of all right with it, you know. Cause, yeah. Like, I mean, I had some friends. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. I certainly wasn't a popular kid. Most people <laughs> didn't know my name. Oh wow. Was I was like, like the quiet kid. Um, I was the kid that just kind of like sat in the corner. You know, like when the teacher would be all like, okay, pair up for a project. Oh, yeah. I would be the kid just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, no, I hate this. That was my least favorite. I guess that's what college is for, right? To expand your horizons, to become a more rounded person, to find the people you connect with. I don't know. There's so many people that are just like trying to do their their own thing and if you just do everyone else's thing then you don't do anything yeah. i'm just speaking gobbledygook right now <laughs> no, <that's good. laughs> this is good I'll, I'll enjoy this i don't know i think people are sometimes surprised by me because they don't know that i'm as goofy as i am sometimes because <laughs> i keep it inside you know i don't open up to people but yeah i think you can tell i think it makes sense It's hard to open up, right? To share the things that you really care about. The things that make you vulnerable. There's writing. I'm a terrible writer. Oh really? I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought so. I mean Your in lyrics my seem opinion, pretty like through like the song Reason. Yeah. I think when you're making something so personal, like inviting other people to be a part of it is really obtrusive. You yeah, know? and it's just so like you. Yeah. It's gotta be you. <laughs> <gasps> it's gotta be you.
Charlie Kaufman gave a lecture once on a similar topic, on being true. I wrote a few parts of it down so I would remember. Say who you are, really say it, in your life and in your work. Tell someone out there who is lost, someone not yet born, someone who won't be born for 500 years. If you're honest about who you are, you'll help that person be less lonely in the world. Because that person will recognize him or herself in you, and that will give them hope. It's done so for me. I do believe you have a wound too. I do believe it is both specific to you and common to everyone. I do believe it is the thing about you that must be hidden and protected. It is the thing that makes you weak and pathetic. It is the thing that truly, truly, truly makes loving you impossible. It is your secret, even from yourself. But it is the thing that wants to live. It is the thing from which your art, your painting, your dance, your composition, your philosophical treatise, your screenplay, is born. The way that I work is not the way that you work, and the whole point of any creative act is that. What I have to offer is me. What you have to offer is you. The, I can see these lights in the mirror behind you though, it looks real cool. That's tight. Yeah. What's up, Yuki? Okay. <laughs>